Hello everyone, welcome back to PJ Chain Design. Today we're going to talk about this tennis bracelet and how do you design a proper hinge for the production. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's bring in the stone first. If you don't know how to build a stone, I have a tutorial. I will put a link at the description below and also on the right top. So let's build a bezel for it. I'm going to build as it is for rendering. So you're going to see something like this. We want to have the edge is really nice and rounded. And we want to have it puffy and make sure that you cover the um, coolant area. And then we're gonna have something coming up like that. All right, and right over here, since this is for the rendering purpose, we are going to have it cut it around the stone, something look like this, and coming over here. All right, let's join everything together. And don't worry about that first one may not be really good, but you can always turn on the control point and then you can kind of edit until you like the result. So we kind of bring in a little bit following the stone. Okay, so now this is our profile. Once we have this profile, we need to take a look on what we have here. The stone size that I have is roughly about three point something. And then this is the wall thickness. It's about less than two millimeter, right? Depends on the design that you have. This is what I use for the tutorial, but you can always change it, you know, to fit into your production and the cost. Now we have this profile. What we wanted to do is using this under the surface, there's a revolve and we want to set it up to the zero. And then we want to set it up for 360 degree and then we'll get a bezel like this. Okay. You probably don't want to cover too much of a bezel. It depends on the design and how much you want to show the stone. All of this uh, about the stone knowledge you can find on my stone setting class online. I will put the description again on the bottom for you to check it out. All right, so now we have one right here. We need to make sure that what is the distance that we have in between and then we can design the hinge in between. So I just make a copy with the gumball and then we are going to uh, draw a box right here. The box should cover both of the area, something like this, but you don't want to uh, over that area. Let's go ahead to take on the top view. Now, depends on how thick you want it with the opening area. And again, this is based on your design. I'm going to roughly do something like this. And we are going to move it back to the center by using the Align Horizontal tool. And let's type it zero. Let's go ahead to make a copy and paste and hiding one of it. And we are going to move this out here. And we want to make sure that cut all the way on the bottom. So let's go ahead to 1D scale this guy and snapping into the end point here and end point here. And then we will have something like that. Okay. So the first one we're going to do very simple balling difference. This will be balling out of this. All right, so we have that opening there. The second thing is we're going to call back the one that we hide it over here. And then we are going to uh, do the design right here. A few things you want to pay attention here. First, where is your pin is going to be? In the, um, I will say you don't want the pin to be two things. 0.6 to 0.8 millimeter is fine. So I'm going to set it up for 0.6 millimeter here. So that will be the pin. What we want to pay attention is once you have this pin here, you want to think about how much you have on both sides of the wall. You definitely don't want it to be wall to be thin over there. Uh, that may break uh, during the production. The second things we wanted to do is using the same center and making another circle here. What I'm trying to do here is try to see where I should do the radius for my block. Now let's go ahead to measure this one. On the radius of this guy is 0.65, right? Let's hide this one first. So I know that 
we need to fit the edges with this one for 0.65 with this one. Okay, so now everything is there. We will need to move the block snapping into the center of this one. Okay, and now look at the top view is already off center. That's using the align horizontal, type it zero and back there. All right, so let's turn on what we hide there and take a look on that. So I'm going to do a test here. We are going to rotate it and we are going to rotate with the center over here. And let's try to rotate and see if there's anything wrong. All right, so we will come over here. Um, normally you won't have it bended that much, but if you do, you see the corner is possible to touch the stone, right? So it's not too good. That means we need to kind of give in a radius on the bottom or make it thinner. I would prefer to have a radius so it's not cutting our stone. Then I'm gonna come over here and try to do a fillet like 0.5 over there with this edges. All right, so that way it won't touch the stone once we rotate it. So now this piece in black is exactly the same with, with this opening. In the scenario like that, once you print out, this won't able to fit in. So we might need to get it slightly smaller in order to fit in. Okay, that's one thing. And look into the gap right there. The second thing is we can only bend this bracelet in this orientation is because the opening. If you plan to have this orientation, you see it's blocking there, right? So what we wanted to, to think about is what kind of movement that we wanted to have. If I do want to go up and down in this orientation, I might need to have this go slightly smaller. At the same time, the pin that goes through it might need to be a little bit loose in order to create that kind of movement. Okay, so I'm gonna design in the way it only go into one direction. Okay, so now when we look at this, we don't want anything is blocking the stone. So for that extra, I cannot do 1D scale because that will change in the curve over there. I simply just need to do a bowling difference. So let's make a block and this block is somehow right there inside of the body. And then we can do bowling difference this out of this one. Before we actually bowling together, let's take a look on the hole and the size that we'll need to work on. First, if this is the pin size, let's say we're going to have that extruded planar curve straight, then we will have that as a pin. Let me turn it in blue color. All right. If the pin size is exactly with the hole on this size, it won't move. It will be super tight. So what we wanted to do is have that to increasing the size just a little bit and making a copy. We want the pin follow the shape. So what we're going to do is we are going to bowling split. This will be split by this guy. So we can get rid of those two. So now we need to cut the hole out of both of them. So we are going to do the bowling difference. This and this will be difference out from there. All right, so now you see the pin is slightly smaller to get through it and both of them has the same size of a hole. When everything is set and done, we are going to bowling this together. So now we have a proper hinge for the production. Now the key is we need to have half of the left side and half of the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box snapping into the center and the center over here. And then make this box is able to cover entire area like this. And move this up on the top view. 
Okay, so we are going to use bowling split again. This and this, it's going to be split by this one. Okay, so let's take a look on that. We can delete the one on the left, the right one on the right. All right, so let me also delete this stone right here. What we need to do now is to move that one from this point to this point. All right, make sure they are 100% align well. Uh, sometimes when you try to snap, they may not snap into the right place. Okay, if they are in the right place, we are, pick up, we are going to pick up both of them. And then let's do the balling unit. So now they become one piece. Okay, this will be the element for us to do the array along the curve. Then you will get something similar like this. I hope you like and enjoy the video. Please like and comment and share my video. That will help my ranking on YouTube and help more students. Thank you and I will see you next.